Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Give light to my eyes, lest I fall asleep in death, lest my enemies say I have overcome him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Guard your church, we pray, O Lord, in your unceasing mercy. And since without you mortal humanity is sure to fall, May we be kept by your constant helps from all harm and directed to all that brings salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. 
learn to do good. Make justice your aim, redress the wrong. Hear the orphan's plea, defend the widow. Come now, let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they be crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you, to the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Please stand. Sinabi ng buong mahal, kasamaan ay layuhan, kasalan ay pagsisihan. Kayo ay magbagong buhay, magpaling loob na The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled. But whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated.
my dear brothers and sisters, several times in the public ministry of Jesus, did he utter very strong words against the scribes and the Pharisees who were the religious leaders of his time. Many times, Jesus called them hypocrites because, as we heard in our gospel today, they preach, but they do not practice. And all their works are performed to be seen. Jesus had always been, been very critical of the scribes and the Pharisees. But in our gospel today, Jesus mentions something to the crowds and to his disciples that is quite surprising. Jesus tells them, the scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. These are striking words from Jesus, because by saying this, Jesus acknowledged that the scribes and the Pharisees are leaders of the people, and therefore the people should listen to what they are teaching. The, the people should follow what they are saying because they are the leaders, and therefore they should listen and follow because the scribes and the Pharisees teach them about the laws of God. Jesus, despite his being critical of the scribes and the Pharisees, still has good words to say about them. Jesus still sees something good in the scribes and the Pharisees, despite their failure to be leaders of, his, the, of the people. Sa kabila ng maraming kakulangan ng mga eskriba at ng mga pariseyo, hindi sinabi ni Jesus, huwag ninyo silang pakinggan at huwag niyong paniwalaan. Hindi sinabi ni Jesus, huwag niyo nang sundin ang mga yan. Hindi sinabi ni Jesus na humanap na lang tayo ng ibang pinuno natin dahil hindi mapagkakatiwalaan ng mga yan. Sa kabila ng mga pagkukulang ng mga eskriba at mga pariseyo, kinilala ni Jesus na sila ay pinuno ng bayan kaya dapat silang pakinggan. Pero ang kanilang halimbawa, ay huwag nang susundin. And this is also what we see in our first reading today. The Lord, through the prophet Isaiah, tells us, Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they be crimson red, they may become white as wool. It is difficult to see white in scarlet and in crimson red. But even in scarlet and crimson red, God sees white. Even in the wicked person, God sees goodness. And even in sinners, God sees sees the possibility of holiness, the possibility of becoming a saint. My dear brothers and sisters, today once again, Jesus reminds us of the innate goodness in each person. 
because we are all created according to the image and likeness of the good God. There is a goodness in each one of us. Even in our enemies, there is goodness in them. Even in people who make life difficult for us, there is goodness in them. Kahit na dun sa taong pinakaayaw at pinakakinaiinisan natin, may kabutihan pa rin na makikita tayo sa kanila. Dahil kapag sinabi nating walang kabutihan sa taong yan, parang sinabi nating ang Diyos gumagawa rin ng hindi mabuti. At hindi yun totoo. Hindi yun tama. Mula sa mabuting Diyos, puro kabutihan lamang ang manggagaling. And so we have to train ourselves to see goodness in each one, to see the image of God in each one, and to see the image of God in ourselves. If Jesus could see goodness even in the scribes and the Pharisees, if God could see white even in scarlet and crimson red, then we will also see goodness only if we open our eyes and realize that there is indeed goodness in others and in ourselves. My dear brothers and sisters, let us make this as part of our Lenten discipline. Kasi yung fasting and abstinence, madali naman yan eh. Kayang-kaya naman natin yung pagkain, lumiban sa pagkain. But let us make it a part of our Lenten sacrifice to lessen seeing bad things in others and to increase seeing goodness in others, even in people we do not like. Gawin nating bahagi yan ng ating penitensya ngayong panahon ng kwaresma. Let us always try to see goodness in other people. Let us always affirm others, especially if we see goodness in them. And let us also see the goodness in our own lives. And if we are able to do that, then we will realize how each of us is truly loved by God. Please stand. Let us heed the admonition of our Lord who taught us to do His work humbly and without ostentation. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. The church leaders may be totally dedicated to their noble calling to preach the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that parents and teachers may accompany their teachings with witnessing and good examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may always seek to do what is right, and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may look with love and compassion upon the sick, the old, and the lonely. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass.
Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generous and sincere heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased to work your sanctification within us, by means of these mysteries, O Lord, and by it may we be cleansed of earthly faults and led to the gifts of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your church a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with this very Spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May He make your Church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may He keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Broderick our Administrator and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who's, who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sinned against us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on her sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the refreshment of this sacred table, O Lord, we pray, bring us an increase of devoutness of life and the constant help of your work of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Graciously hear the cries of your faithful, O Lord, and relieve the weariness of their souls, that having received your forgiveness, they may ever rejoice in your blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.